Hey you guys, John Britt here. Hey, I'm gonna do a video of some stuff I've been working on, I've been meaning to post, but I've been had a big project I was working on. Uh, so this is a bunch of purple spotted stuff, like we used to do a bunch of Ashley's Ash, and uh, I'm sorry, uh, Ashley's Best and stuff on the Facebook page, Exploring Mid-Range Glazes together with John Britt's book. Uh, so this was kind of off of that. And what I've got here, I was trying to do, there's a lady on Instagram, Hugh Hing Huang, I'm not sure how you say it, but that's how I did. And she would make these like landscapey plates with a bunch of um, uh, this purpley spotted stuff. And I thought that was pretty good, so I thought I would try my hand at it. Uh, what we got here, we'll just start in with this recipe. This is uh, Randy's Red Base and I left out the iron, uh, so it's an iron red type glaze, but I left it out, and so I put in cobalt carbonate, 6%, and then I fired it, the E1 cycle. Uh, basically, if you want to, you can also add a soak here to grow more pink crystals, and then this, I also did it at cone eight, so both of these were good firing cycles. Uh, let's start with this. This is the the base, but I added zircle packs, eight percent, and then I had these two tiles. One is cone six. Let's see. Oh, I didn't didn't write that on there, but one is cone. This one here is cone six, and you can see I put India ink on it. It's a little crazed, and this one's cone eight, but it didn't didn't craze. And this is on frost clay all my uh, tiles here were frost cone six okay so the first one here is showing you uh, I just added cobalt carbonate fired it to cone six and it's 0.5 percent one percent two percent like that and then you can see when it gets to six here it's super nice and yummy and then uh, here is the one where I soaked it for two hours at 1800. So it turned completely purple. Okay. And then here is the same base. And I added cobalt again in the same manner. But this time I fired it to cone eight. So it gets a little better melting. And then you can, it can tolerate a lot more um, cobalt in there. And so when you get up to 12%, it starts getting really nice. Okay, so that's possibility for you. I'm going to see if I can get close on there. And, and then this one here is where I soaked it for two hours. Turn it all purple. Okay, so let's see what else we did. So then I decided... I always like to just add things to it to see what else will happen. So I started, I think, with the 6% here of cobalt. I don't have that written down, but that's what I did. 6%. And then I added 10. 1, 2, and 3%. So that kind of, you know, it's, it's a very subtle differences. Here, I thought, well, I'm going to add zircle packs. Same deal. 1, one, two, and three percent. Also, once again, nice subtle differences. Um, then I took another opacifier, which is titanium, and I added added it in uh, up to here six percent. So I think you can see how all of a sudden it starts turning uh, from this pink to blue green. That's titanium and cobalt make a type of green. This is indicative of that color. Okay, so then of course, you know, you got to try rutile. So I added my rutile. Uh, and, you know, it starts to kill the pink, but it's got its own color that's nice too. So sometimes you find these things that happen, like that's a particularly nice one there right here. Uh, I wonder if I can zoom in while I'm doing it. No. Uh, anyway. Oh, maybe I can't wait. 
Yeah. Super nice tile there. Wow, there's a nice camera. <laughs> This phone. Okay, so then what I kept doing is I thought, well, I'm just going to keep adding. Uh, and so I kept adding the root heel all the way up. But this last grouping here was, uh, I soaked it again, except this one. This was the original. This is what it really looked like. And then I, I thought, well, they were not that interesting. Let me put them back in and soak them for uh, two hours at 1800 and see what happens. And so these other green ones are the case then. It turned completely green, which was kind of nice and interesting. And of course, when I did that, then I said, well, let's try adding copper to that. Not too much different. Once you start soaking them for two hours, it kind of overloads it. But these are all nice glazes. This, this one had... Uh, the cobalt, the rutile, and then I added manganese uh, up to 6%. So that was that deal. Uh, then we're back to just a straight firing, and this was a cone 6 firing with r the Randy's Red Base RR6 with 6% cobalt. And then I added copper to these, 1, 2, and 3%. And that you know had some nice stuff uh, happening there. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Anyway, so there's a lot that you could work with here. This one here, I thought, well, I'm going to just add chrome. I had the cobalt in there, and then I just added chrome. And it kills the color, but it gives you, and these, these are, this is a nice, these are nice colors if you're not looking for the pink. And then, of course, what I always do is I will, um, you know, over, over, uh, put, put, I put the chrome on first and then put this on top of it. And that's what this is. So you got the idea there. Very nice. It tries to, like down here, it's trying to blend in. All right. So that didn't seem too complicated. So what I've got right over here then, of course, when you do these things, um, tiles are one thing, but then you have to actually put them on pieces. So I always try to do that to see if we can, you know, see if it translates to a piece. So, you know, these were pretty nice. Um, see, I'm not sure if that's focusing well. Yeah, but these were nice, uh, little spotty things. And I put, uh, I put the white inside. Uh, and the reason it's speckled is because I had been doing some manganese tests and I had some in the bucket. So don't, don't pay attention to that. But... Uh, yeah, so that was pretty nice. I did a little ewer here. That was, I mean, a um, creamer kind of deal. Didn't wipe the bottom very well. Uh, then here was, uh, I put on the top here, seafoam green is the, uh, the color. And I, then I put uh, the Randy's, uh, the RR6 base at the bottom. And that came out pretty good. And this was with a two hour soak to get it to turn more purpley. See how this one turned uh, all you know pinky, purpley, whatever. What are we calling that? Lavender or something. Uh, yeah, refired for an hour and 45 minutes. Sometimes I have to leave, so it may not be two hours. <laughs> but it was in the vicinity. Anyway, and this was the RR12. So I took the RR base, and here's where I I took this number 12 tile, 12% 12 uh, cobalt, and I put it in there, and then I, I fired it, and this was a pretty nice uh, cup here. Um, but then I put it back in here and soaked it, and then that turned more pinky. And then this is where it's all blending together. It's actually very nice. And then here was one where it turned a little bit more uh, purpley or lavendery. Okay, so I think I did everything. Wasn't too rushed, I hope. Uh, so that will give you something to do. Uh, tons of good glazes in there. I mean, if you really, if you're not really after the pink thing, there's a bunch of good stuff. 
Uh, unfortunately, this one did not uh, continue on when I, I did it. Um, but there, there, you could find some good stuff here with a 9% uh, root teal. And, and a, there's a bunch of glazes that that works great in. So, so I consider it sort of overloading it with root teal. Normally you're only going to put five to eight percent, but uh, so that was kind of overloading it. But that's the deal. There's the recipe and the firing and good luck. Make about this many tiles, 75 tiles and tell me how it goes.